Hey, what's up, everyone? So uh, in that last episode, the last thing that we did was uh, display that spacing. So if we change the orientation, we can actually change the spacing. Um, and we just displayed that text right there. There's one more kind of interesting thing we can do with this uh, mini project. Uh, so I kind of want to show you, well, we don't need this other code window right here. Uh, we're just going to be working with the storyboard. So if I go over here, if I go over here to my hierarchy view, um, I'm going to control click or sorry, shift click on, let me just close everything first. Shift click on the stack view, the other stack view, spacing slider, and then this stack view. So I'm just selecting everything really easily from, from over here, from in this hierarchy view. Uh, I'm going to embed. So first of all, notice that all of these individual pieces have, um, yeah, so all these individual pieces here have, have constraints on the outside edges. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to editor and embed in stack view. Okay. So now I put them all in their own little stack view. Uh, notice it, it kind of can tell, uh, Xcode can kind of tell what their orientation is. So it realizes that I probably want vertical for that stack view um, axis. But also notice that those outside uh, constraints are all gone. The inside ones, so for example, the, the height constraint on this other stack view is still there. But anything that constrained to the parent is, is wiped. You don't have to worry about that. Well, you... In a way, you do have to worry about it because I have to now constrain uh, this stack view to the parent. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to constrain everything. I'll just keep everything at 16, basically like what it was before. So I'm going to add these constraints. Uh, the reason we want to do this is because we actually we want to get rid of this. Uh, there's there's a chance the thing that we want to do with this stack view is allow it to grow beyond just some uh, hard, like hard size of like 300, for example. So before the thing that we did in order to keep Xcode happy and keep uh, the auto layouts happy is we had this height of 300. We're going to delete that height. Okay. Uh, and so if we run it now, maybe we'll get some weird behavior. We haven't set anything on that on that stack view. So you notice how it kind of did that jump. Right. And then, but there's, there's a whole lot of extra space here that I can play around with. Uh, so it's still kind of, again, I'm getting like some weird behavior. This thing is pushing off to the edge. I don't really like any of that. So what I'm going to do, uh, make sure I can see everything. Uh, I'm going to, did I get those constraints? Okay, I got all those constraints. I'm going to set this bottom one, instead of just 16, equal to 16, I'm going to say greater than or equal to 16. What that's going to allow it to do is, uh, again, the because it's, it's allowed to be greater than or equal, that means it can be 32 or 64 or whatever. So it's going to be able to, uh, it might be higher at the beginning, and then as we add buttons or whatever views, it will shrink. And we'll get to that 16, and then that's where it's going to stay. For the uppermost stack view, I'm going to change this. So you can kind of see it doesn't like some of these constraints here because uh, my distribution is fill. So I'm going to change this to equal spacing. Right? I'm going to change that spacing to 16, for example. Or we could change it to whatever we want. But you'll see what this constraint here did. Uh, it It's going to allow, like it's, it's kind of saying like, hey, this constraint is large because it's a greater than or equal. So at this point, uh, the spacing in between all of these is 16. This has no, this stack view right here. Right now, it has no constraint, uh, constrained size, um, but Xcode isn't complaining about it and auto layout isn't complaining about it. Now watch what happens. So we're going to run this. Hop over to my app. So let's change that orientation. You'll notice that as I'm adding, it's going down, but now it's constrained to that 16 at the bottom. Okay. And 
as I as I change it, it's automatically adjusting uh, the other pieces. So these things are kind of these three different sections of the of the view are they have like a default size or like a uh, a non changing size. But this other one, because it's growing, it's pushing everything else down. And you know, again, like it depends depends on what you want to do, but like it just allows you to have that that dynamic sized container. Uh, basically for free. It didn't really take didn't really take much work in anything that we did, but it's still constrained to the overall size of the of the device. Obviously, if if the spacing gets too big, ooh, we still get some some kind of like pushback there. But we can keep adding that that spacing really kind of blew it away. But uh, we can keep adding, and you'll see like it's just shrinking more and more inside or like um, the pieces are shrinking more and more inside this big thing, but these pieces aren't moving. Uh, yeah, obviously there's still like a weird issue if I'm forcing the spacing in between all of these elements to be too big, it still just kind of like uh, hides everything. It kind of, uh, Xcode kind of freaks out. But um, besides, besides that like little strange behavior, we have this dynamically sized container with very little work. The stack view is really doing all of the work for us. And the user can interact with it and again, add add elements or add whatever they want to the actual inside of its container. So stack view, like I said, it's really powerful. You're not gonna use it all the time. If you have more than a couple of items in here, uh, especially like if it's more than can reasonably fit on side the, you know, inside the screen, then we're going to want to use a different tool. But if you have if you have a couple of sections, even if they need to be like grow dynamically, and you want to show those all on screen, the stack view is probably like the easiest tool that uh, that you'll be able to use. Okay, so uh, that is basically it for this stack view mini course. Uh, the last thing we want to do is Make sure that we push to GitHub. Oh. Okay, we just changed that storyboard. So I'll just add that storyboard. Okay, and push that up. And we're done. So we've learned a whole bunch about the stack view. The next thing we're gonna do is actually start working on that calculator. See you in the next episode.